when you listen that the person for the another side mm. from another city mm. they said please help us please help us mm. can you send the army or something like that mm. and you can't help mm. it's very hard in your head mm. you know and after that i will what i told you go to the <laughs> where is the sniper and i said okay kill me morning it is a new week and last week you saw how I had to go into the new winter weather it was a uh, quite an unexpected snowstorm but I was relatively close to Sarajevo already so I thought uh, I'm just gonna go for it in the beginning it was actually uh, surprisingly enjoyable I think I was actually the most photographed man in Bosnia I was even invited for a coffee which turned out to be a Bosnian barbecue. And from there onwards, it became, uh, yeah, not so enjoyable anymore. My bike uh, decided to stop working. There was a problem with uh, uh, my rear wheel. Um, it just uh, it just couldn't turn anymore. It's a bit complicated to explain. Uh, it was even more complicated to solve. So um, yeah, I was kind of stuck in the middle of nowhere uh, in a snowstorm. In the end, I got in touch with uh, Edin. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Um, he was actually following uh, this YouTube channel before. He got me a ride. Uh, Alem and Almin, they, uh, they gave me a ride all the way to Sarajevo. And now I'm staying here with uh, Selem in this mountain house. So tomorrow I'm gonna go to repair my bike. Enjoy the nature around. The winter is uh, not very convenient, but it is very, very beautiful. Just enjoy uh, my time around here. <laughs> the next few days I would spend with Nedim and Zdenka. Zdenka has lived in Sarajevo for most of her life and has lots of memories about the war. She even worked as a radio operator in the time, sending and receiving messages from the front line and their family. And she opened up about her time in the recent war. <laughs> We planned everything. We sp if I got it, uh, some packet from my family, food, food or some kind of uh, the clothes, yeah. doesn't matter. Mm. I call all my friends from the building, yeah. come to me, and we open the packet together yeah. and plant like everything something. what I have. And it's very hard being without the water. Sometimes I put put uh, the the shoes and make the bread. <laughs> you got one bread for the one shoes. Inside the oven, you put. Yeah. 
shoes and you can make the bread. So you, you can cook. So you, you, use, cook. you use a shoe yeah. yes. as a fuel yeah, 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 to yeah, burn yes, for yes. bread. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah, one shoe, yeah. one bread. You were waiting for someone to shoot you. Right? Yes. Yeah. Well, what was the reason for that? Like, because that, I work that, too much. Uh, I listen too much many story. Uh, sometimes I must tell the mother or father mm. that his kids die yeah and i must tell oh, your you. job Russia. yes mm. yes yeah. many times mm. and many easy. times i'm the first mm. uh, person yeah. who know that yeah and i must tell you that your child yeah. really died young. yeah it's very very hard I, uh, and yes. Uh, yes. when you listen that the person for the another side mm. From another city, mm. they said, "Please help us! Please help us! Mm. Can you send the army or something like that?" Mm. And you can't help. Mm. It's very hard in your head, mm. you know. And after that, I do what I told you. Go to the <laughs> where is the sniper? And I said, "Okay, kill me Probably if you yeah. want." But I don't really. I don't want to look at the war yeah. in Bosnia. Yeah. I don't want to look at it. They have the movie, it's named Grbavica. Mm. Grbavica, yes. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't want to no. look at the movie because... Because here we have only, only moves about hard. war. Yeah. I don't want to look at it. It's too much, mm. yes. too much pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> okay. Give me one big hug. Big hug, okay. Ciao. <laughs> ciao, ciao. And I'm back on the road, finally. And in all honesty, I'm slightly hangover because of all the rakia that we drank yesterday. <laughs> uh, we had a very fun night together with uh, Nedim, who hosted me for two nights, and uh, Zdenka. Um, she arranged a lot of, for me uh, in Sarajevo, of which my bike, the repair of my bike, uh, is done now, it's fixed. There was a problem with the axle, but it's, uh, it's all fixed and I'm good to go. Uh, the camera is fixed as well, the microphone plug wasn't working, so hopefully the sound is a little bit better now. And uh, yeah, continue my way and uh, I'm going to Mostar today. Um, I'm not reaching all the way to Mostar, but I will spend the night uh, halfway. And then I uh, will continue my way to warm tomorrow morning.
Alright, and I had a quick visit to Mostar, beautiful Mostar with the old bridge in the old town. Uh, I spent the night there yesterday. It was really uh, spectacular to see also the history. Uh, but now it's time to move on towards Dubrovnik. I'm gonna take the Chiro Trail, uh, which used to be an old train track. I'm already on here. Um, and it's uh, supposed to be through this rural area. And uh, yeah, re really looking forward to it. It's gonna take two days to, to go to Dubrovnik. The only thing I am worried about is my rear tire again. Because this morning I noticed that it's not tightened very properly again. There was the same problem a few days ago. I just really, really hope that he's gonna hold up. Um, yeah, and then in Dubrovnik I think I just have to change my entire tire or the entire axle or something has to happen because this cannot go on like this. <sighs> Let's hope so. Yeah, as you can see I found myself on a bumpy gravel road. That's not what I want to see with my rear tire now. Uh, this is worrying. Uh, I can hear the brake disc touching the brake pads. So that means it's not aligned properly. It's really not a good sign. Uh, I don't know if I have to keep going or... I'm already far out of Mostar. <sighs> Damn. Thank God. Uh, please keep it like this. Please, 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 please. That will do for camp spot. I just made my camp back there and having a sort of a very late lunch at the moment and just enjoying the amazing views. Enjoying the beautiful sunrise. It is uh, quite cold. Um, I had quite a good uh, night of sleep, but it is uh, quite fresh at the moment. Time to get back on the road soon. Hopefully, my bike can make it up until Dubrovnik. Thank you. 
and with a wobbly rear wheel I reached the coastline of Dubrovnik, where my bike needed some serious repairs before I could continue my journey into Montenegro and Albania. But that is a story for next time. But that's it for this week, and I'll see you in the next one.